Hey, Amped, what is up? Um, welcome to our newest VIP. I uh, just wanted to take a quick few minutes to encourage you guys. Also to introduce you to the newest uh, member of Amped. This is Lily, a.k.a. Liliana Joy. Um, she is a sweetheart. She sleeps well. She doesn't cry a whole lot. And she's basically the best. So, um... As I was praying through what I wanted to talk to you guys about, um, I found this thing by Andy Stanley, and I thought it was really appropriate for the season that we're in. So, um, basically the idea behind this, I know that a lot of us are stressed about numbers and how many students are attending my Zoom call every week, how many students am I reaching, am I getting a hold of everyone, um, if I do a game night or do a special event, is anyone coming? Um, I've heard that from several of you and I know it's discouraging, but I want to give you this bit of advice and I, I really think it can help. So uh, when we were kids, um, I know you've maybe asked your parents or you've asked your, your teacher as a child and you said, um, hey, can I have, you see someone open a piece of gum, hey, can I have a piece of that gum? And they go, hey, if I gave one to you, I'd have to give one to everyone. That's what they would tell you. Um, and you and I both knew that wasn't true. No, you didn't have to give one to everyone, just give one to me. I didn't ask you to give one to the class. I said, can, you, can I have a piece of gum? Um, and we knew at that point that that wasn't the truth. But yet, we still feel that way when it comes to our students sometimes. If I did this for this student, I'll have to do it for all my students. Um, and sometimes that keeps us from doing anything. Um, at the risk of not doing everything for everyone, we do nothing for no one. Um, and kind of the, the principle behind this is do for one what you wish you could do for everyone. Um, we know that when we reach out to one student and we do something special for them and we spend time with them, watch a movie with them, play a game with them online, it feels a little discouraging because we've called 30 or 40 people. Um, but for that one, it may make all the difference. Middle school is the time where students are going to make a decision about whether or not they're going to be followers of Jesus long term, for the most part. So if we capture them now, and this is such a pivotal time, if we capture them now, we are much more likely, much more likely to retain them into adulthood. Um, we are much more likely to see them continue to pursue a relationship with Jesus into adulthood if we convince them and we, and we introduce them the better way to say it. If we introduce them to the person of Jesus in these middle school years. So um, as we look to how we're going to treat our students, how we're going to um, do special things for them, how we're going to invest in them, don't be paralyzed by the fact that you can't do something for everyone. Um, be motivated by the fact that you can do something for someone. So um, I'm going to send out a document and I'm also going to send out the um, sermon that goes along with this. Um, it's a bit of a lengthy sermon, but the questions I think are encouraging. And if even if you just go through the questions, um, I think it can be beneficial. But if you want to listen to the sermon, um, I think it's a great one, obviously. Um, Andy Stanley is always great, but it's really encouraging, especially in this season where we're not getting the same critical mass that we used to. So, um, some of the biggest things that I want to, to encourage you to do um, is as you're looking to your students, um, to your few, um, don't think, what can I do for my group? Um, that's a great attitude to have. We want you to be thinking that also, but don't just be thinking that. Um, be thinking what can I do for this student what can I do for that student because what you do for that one student may not change the world but it may change their world and that is so worth it because we have to remember I've been putting this at the bottom of my emails that I'm sending out weekly we have to remember what is at stake if we don't reach these students now um, and that is potentially their eternity so let's do everything we can to pursue these students, to love them like Jesus does, and to point them to Jesus in this season. Um, there's a lot of a lot of conflicting information um, about how we can best pursue this next generation. Um, and our philosophy here at Grace is to love your few. 
Um, your list of all your students has 60, 70 names on it potentially. But who are your few? Um, your few, your dedicated few are the ones who are showing up every week. Um, maybe that's three, maybe that's seven, maybe that's nine, whatever that number that is for you. Pour into those students the most. Continue to reach out to the other students, continue to pursue them, continue to tell them that Jesus loves them, send them text messages, send them emails, do whatever you need to do. But really pursue those few in this season. And don't be paralyzed by the fact that you can't do this for everyone. Maybe you can go and drop something off at their house. Um, if you need addresses and you don't have them, um, let me or Matt, better yet, Matt Love know because he's checking his email every day. I'm checking mine as I can. Um, but we can get you addresses. If you want to go make a visit and drop off something at their house or get your other small group leaders together and go visit two or three in an afternoon, um, you may not do it for everyone in your group, but do it for a few because it does make a difference. So just know that even in the season when I'm um, a little bit distracted, um, I'm still praying for you. I'm still wishing the best for you and I'm still here to support you um, in whatever way I can. So I hope you're doing well. She agrees. Uh, I hope you're doing well. I love you guys so much. I'm so thankful for you. Thank you for leaning in. Thank you for doing the hard work and for doing it to the best of your ability because what you do matters. Love you guys. Bye. Say bye, Lily. Or not. See you guys.